Hey guys, welcome back to Jardev. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm taking a look at a Android game. Uh, it's called Commute. I saw it pop up on the Google Play Store and I thought it was so interesting, so I, I downloaded it and I had a ton of fun playing it, so I thought I'd really like to just record a, a short video on it. So I'm gonna start right from the beginning. Start. So basically the idea is, you can see in the bottom left, I've got 13. Um, you've got to drive 13 cars sort of around the town um, without crashing into each other. And when you start off, you've only got the one car, but by the 13th, you're having to look out for the other 12 cars that you sent out. So the first one, Dentist Charles Schneider leaves his house and has to his clinic on Glower Boulevard. Okay, so all we have to do is just send him over there. Easy enough. No problem. There we go. Postman Betty is very efficient, so she always has time to stop and see Mr. Beck. The, the like, people descriptions are very surreal and very weird, and they're very interesting. Oh, let's see, so she's got to go up the same way, but she's a little bit slower, so it's not a problem for her. And you can see you only have, you only have 60 seconds to do it. Um, you can pick up power-ups that'll let you keep going for longer. Alright, Mrs. Mayfield is late to the office. Her husband kept her with constant talk of Yorkshire Terriers this morning. <laughs> Lovely. Now she's not she's not going up the same way as the other guys, but she is driving very fast because she's late. So she's probably gonna get in the way of other people a bit later. Mrs. Beck is on her way back home. She forgot her key card to the office, how clumsy. So she's just gotta go over there and she's gonna take a little shortcut here. Grab that there. Oof. And she just hit that. Oh, oh god. Wow, um, <laughs> I mean, that's probably okay. Uh, yeah, when they, when your, your car crashes, they they slow down a lot. Uh, and what you can do then is you can rewind for a cost of one second off your total time. I think that was probably fine. Uh, the ambulance is on its way to the Beck's house. There's been an accident. Okay, little ambulance person. Oh, he crashed, so we'll just rewind him there. Cost one second, that's fine. You never really know how fast they're going to be going. That one went quite well. Ice Cream Man Hernandez is on his way to the general store to buy rodenticide. Rodenticide. That's great. I'm going to pick this up here. Oh, look out for everyone else. That one was quite easy. The levels do get very hard. Advertiser Mr. Baker drives to work whispering the same slogan to himself every morning. Less emotions, more promotions. All right. Let's see if he... Wow, that was uh, not great. We'll try that again. There we go. No one's actually getting in his way. Great. Except for him, he's driving like a maniac. School bus driver Miss Santiago thinks the best thing about the kids being loud is that no one can hear you cry. <laughs> the descriptions are very weird, but they're very interesting. So she's got to go where the ambulance is coming from. Oh, look out for that guy. No problem. Ooh, there we go, that worked out well. Leisure driver and binocular owner Mr. Turner knows a little bit about everyone in the neighborhood. Today he learned how enthusiastic Mr. Beck is about leopard patterned underwear. Very strange. Yeah, I think this one's going to be a difficult one. Oh, headlong collision right there. So we've got to keep him, let's keep him over here. Ooh. Ooh. That was pretty close, but it all worked out. Garbage man Dwayne has been collecting the garbage in this neighborhood for quite some time. Three years ago, he found a crumpled photo of Mrs. Beck in a trash can. He's kept it in his wallet ever since. It's pretty weird, isn't it? So we're just gonna scoot him over here to grab that time boost. He should be good here, no problem. No problem. Everyone thinks the man driving this car is Mr. Lee, but Mr. Lee is long gone. Lord knows who this man is, but he looks and talks like Mr. Lee. That's good enough for most people. I think this is probably the creepiest character. Pretty much all of these people will show up again in the later levels. Yeah, this guy's pretty creepy. Oh, oh, perfect. Perfect. Mostly perfect. Widowed Mrs. Clemens is certain of a ghost for her husband has possessed a car. Like every time on this day of the week, she's off to see an expert in the matter. 
Right, this one should be pretty easy. I'll just center around this side of the, the roundabout. No problem. And the last one, Julia makes her way to work in the city. She doesn't particularly enjoy it. In fact, she's thinking about heading back home to call in sick. Look at all those power-ups we can get. Well, not power-ups, like time boosts. Oh, this guy was really in the way. But we managed to recover. There we go. And it shoves you right into level two there. Um, the the app itself is free, um, but if you pay, I think it's like just below three dollars. Uh, it lets you use the checkpoints, and you get a checkpoint after you beat every level. So it's probably I don't know why they'd make it free. I I think they probably should have just made it like three dollars or whatever. But yeah, there you go. That was just a short video on uh, an Android game that I've I've really been enjoying recently. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that little video. And the game is called Commute. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. What does my name show up as, Fitz? Sir John Snow. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what does it show up mean? Your Fitz cred. What? My character's name is Big Big Twat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. My guy's called Big Knob Bob. <laughs>